What's up, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I do this because I believe artists should control their own destiny, and marketing, branding, and business strategies is how you make that happen. So if you are an artist especially, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I decided to do this pretty regularly now. Today, we're going over can bummy artist, artist images still win? Let's hop right into it. First thing, being bummy is subjective as a mug, man. You, It's such an opinion. So I want to make that point. And the reason I even decided to bring that up is because searching for bummy rappers and just bummy dressing, I found this picture right here. Now, this girl calls this bummy swag, but where I'm from, you see a girl dressed like this and it just makes you go, nom, 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 eat that thing up. I'm going right up at her. So bummy is obviously subjective because in my head, she kind of don't, she don't look bummy. Anyway. But the answer is yes, hell yeah, bummy rappers can win. Well, how do we know this? Why? Obviously, we got these two young lads right here, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Let's hop into it. I'm going to really address J. Cole at the end because he's a little different. Kendrick is a way better example of how and why. Yeah, I said that. When you yeah. said the, the, I, the said, I thought he was a custodian. He I don't said, remember. Yeah, yeah, he, said he, <laughs> yeah, he said he wasn't no superstar. Yeah, I said he didn't look like a superstar. He being honest. I did. You can't judge him. <laughs> he still don't, don't, but he is. I mean, <laughs> that's why people don't. like him. So, we know that a lot of people think Kendrick looks like a bum. Charlemagne has said it. Kendrick even says, hey, I mean, you know, he get recognized he doesn't really look like a star. At the end, Charlemagne says, that's why people like him. Hmm, that There could be a lot of truth to that because maybe he seems a lot more relatable. I, well, actually, yes, in a lot of ways, it helps him seem a lot more relatable to the regular man. But let's get deeper into some other whys. Do you got Zach Martin? I didn't. He didn't look like a star, but he, I never said he was whack. He's dumb nice. Now he gets busy. You care about stuff like image and things like that? I mean, it plays along with the park because that's hip hop. You know, as far as fashion, you know, you got to go with the rhymes. I feel that's all traditional. So I like that you do your own thing, though. It ain't like you try to dress like how everybody else dresses. Yeah, man. You know, I feel like you know, like we're talking about the essence. You know, everybody got to be their own individual. I don't like the fact that people bite off each other. You know, that'll get you shunned out the game. Very what I used to know. Definitely look like you're about to rob somebody this morning. <laughs> all right so the biggest part about this is authenticity as kendrick said you know he likes he, he doesn't like people copying other people's style and things like that it's not that he doesn't like to ever dress up and things like that but his brand and form of this is really just him being authentic to himself he doesn't really like dressing up like that and putting on certain costumes outfits he's not really a bling bling type guy if that's not you just don't do it because people can tell that you're kind of putting on an act anyway some people do like to dress up ASAP, the whole ASAP mob is very, it's very clear that they like to dress up and that works for them. That's very authentic, authentic. but that would probably look kind of corny on a guy like Kendrick because he wouldn't even know how to handle that swag. Caution, huge, huge caution. Music is what matters more than anything. I don't even want people to get caught up too much into this image brand. And especially if you're a bummy rapper per se, that's the word that they use. I don't use it, um, especially the northern dudes, man. You the bum. The bum, the, the, the music is what matters because if people do not love your music, they don't really care about the rest. They can find a guy on the corner or just in their own hood walking down the street who can dress fly and or people could just wake up one day and find a costume and put on a certain image. But music is actually first. Somebody like me can't even help really not something sustainable until you figure out the music we always have that neck to you know put it out the way we want to and our thing is is this the people gonna like it regardless they gonna like it or they not so mm -hmm. you can put it out you can put people on stage you can do the war shows you can do radio but if they don't rock with the music they're not gonna get it see kendrick said it nicely himself way more elegantly than i said it but once again music over everything music over everything so now we're going to get to j cole and dress this why I put him at the end is because J. Cole didn't really take the route that Kendrick took. J. Cole started off walking around. And he was, you know, he was kind of on that let's be fresh thing, let's look nice. I don't know if he had a stylist because he doesn't really seem to have too much natural style himself or just really care to do that because he's that basketball dude who really just likes to really be basketball shorts and hoodies and things like that himself. But when he first started his career, he kind of went to that side of, hey, I'm going to kind of be fresh. But really, he was walking around kind of just regular old light skin Larry, right? Let's be clean. Let's be popular. And get that done and then the second part of his career he started going hey man know what i don't really care about this he even said that his mom always wanted like an artsy fartsy type kid wanted him to be that way so he kind of stepped into that too in addition because of his mom but he also was just fed up with all the other stuff attached to the game but as i said cole had a fan base already right he he, he switched to this only like two years ago dude i've been rocking with dude since like 2009 2010 
So what's important is realizing that once again, the music matters more than anything. People rocked with his music. They cared about him, but it didn't really matter. What's so important for this is knowing your audience. Because even for J. Cole, it could have been dangerous when he becomes as big as he did and then all of a sudden switching to this quote unquote bummy image. But his audience, they didn't really care about that kind of thing anyway. They weren't the types to be so caught up in these superficial images or too caught up in bling, none of that stuff anyway, because he wasn't even like that in his music. So in some ways he was going an inconsistent route in terms of how he was dressed and the music. And I guess that's a part of him, you know, that huge withdrawal as well, going into the extreme artsy or I don't give a fuck look because it wasn't really in line with who he was anyway. That's that authenticity. So subtle image. What in the world is a subtle image? That's basically what Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole have. I'm not going to go too much deeper in here for time's sake, but I actually made a whole video on subtle image. I don't know if I put it out before or after this. I'll link it if I, if I am and put it in the comments, but it explains how you make that image and that bummy thing, if that's what you have, or even just not a I'm flashy thing work for you. So subscribe, everybody, if you find this stuff helpful or just for some reason like to know a lot about this marketing image branding type stuff for your own good. Maybe you have an artist. I don't know. Don't really care, but hopefully it was helpful. Have a good one. It's Sean Taylor. I'm out.